Hey guys, it's Jen, and today I wanted to share with you my top 10 list for must have hair products. These are things I use every single day and they really make a huge difference to my hair styling and care and routine. Let's go ahead and get started. The first one I wanted to talk about is a hairbrush. This is a Denman brush. Now, if you look at it, it looks a lot like a Mason Pearson brush, but it's actually pretty much the same thing, but much cheaper. For those of us out there who don't have, you know, tons and tons of money to spend on the most expensive of boar bristle brushes, this is a, a wonderful dupe. The bristles in this brush actually help to disperse the natural oils in your hair. So it's kind of like using your own body to condition your hair a bit while you're brushing. I really like it. It makes my hair very soft. And I also noticed that when I use it to tie my hair up, you don't get any big lumps because there are so many little fibers dragging through your hair. I've heard a lot of other people just totally raving about it. So that is my number one. My number two product is something that anybody who uses any kind of heat styling products has to use. This is heat protection spray. And the one I've been using currently is the Pantene Pro-V one because it just smells really great. I do not ever curl or straighten or heat style my hair or even blow dry it without using a heat protectant. It's like one of my number one rules in caring for my hair. So I highly recommend it. I also really like how this bottle is shaped. My number three product is dry shampoo. So I know dry shampoo was like, people didn't really talk about it for a while and then it just kind of like exploded bloated and it seems like everybody's really obsessed with the aerosol can sprays but I feel like that's not really as good for the environment plus you can't take it on an airplane so I picked up this one and I am so in love this is the Oscar Blondie dry shampoo and I just really love how portable this is that it doesn't have to be in any kind of can it doesn't take up a lot of space this actually has kind of a a squeeze tube with just like a little funnel tip. So you can just disperse it in your hair like that and just kind of like shake it up. You can even take a brush and just brush it through your hair. I find it to be really fabulous at absorbing the oils in my hair and I've just been really happy with it. Plus it smells really nice. I described it in another video like lemon laundry and I have to say, I definitely still feel like that. It's just nice and fresh and clean. Of course, I cannot have a hair video without talking about a blow dryer. So this is the one that I've had for a million years. I don't even think they sell this exact one anymore. So you don't have to go like super crazy fancy for a blow dryer. I just look for one that has variable heat settings and strength settings and this little button, which is a cool shot. This one actually has tourmaline built into it. So that really helps your hair to just feel a lot more moisturized and shiny. And I find it makes a big difference, blow dryers that have that and ones that don't. So I, I really love this one. It's by Remington. It's the Tea Studio Collection. Definitely look for that tourmaline cool shot. The next one I wanted to talk about is a clipless iron. This one is from Numi. It's the five in one. And the reason I really love this one is because you don't have to get a bunch of different curling irons. You can just use this one because you can actually adjust what this top part has. So my favorite one is this really big one. It's what I use today to get these nice, like loose beachy Victoria's Secret waves. But I also sometimes like having a little bit of a tighter curl. So there are a lot of different options. Plus it comes in this nice carrying case. So it's really, really easy to travel in. I mean, I'm traveling all the time. So it kind of saves me space because I don't have to bring like a lot of separate hair tools. It also comes with this nice glove which if you want to like be really awesome and pretend like Michael Jackson or if you just don't want to burn your hand, this one's really nice. You can actually wear it on both hands. If you guys want a tutorial on how I use my clipless irons, then leave a comment down below and let me know that. So going back to tourmaline again, this set actually is infused with tourmaline and it makes my hair just look a lot healthier. And I don't know if it's some kind of voodoo magic, but on the second day, my hair is still really curly. And that doesn't always happen with other curling irons. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, it heats up like so fast, like, like so fast and so hot. This literally took me 
10 minutes to curl my entire head of hair. If you guys want to check out this set, I actually have a coupon code if you use Jen Summer, you can get this set for $100, plus you also get a nice little argan oil to make your hair soft and shiny. Or you can use code BUTTERCUP, and that gives you $100 off of any individual wand, plus you get a nice heat-resistant pouch so you don't get your counters all hot and melty. <laughs> the next product I wanted to talk about is my GHD flat iron, this thing I've had for years. And I really love that it's kind of well contained. I've had flat irons in the past where they didn't have this cover. And after you're done using it, it gets really, really hot. So it's kind of hard to store. And also it has these ceramic panels. So that's a little bit better for your hair than just using metal straight on your hair. And like the other iron I talked about, this heats up super, super fast, which if you're like me and you're just really impatient for hair things, then this is pretty much the best flat iron that I've tried. So it's definitely really handy and also really versatile to use. I'm not a huge hairspray person, but when I do use hairspray, this is by far my favorite. This is the Kenra Volume Spray. My mother-in-law actually gave this to me as a gift because I don't go out and buy a lot of hairsprays, but this one is really wonderful. It's actually called a volume spray and it really does. Like if you spray this into your roots volume area, it just goes from being flat to really nice and bouncy and it doesn't make your hair crunchy at all. Like I hate crunchy hairspray hair and this just leaves it really soft and bouncy. It holds a lot better and has just really nice volume. And I can't get over how good it smells too. The next product I wanted to talk about is actually a hair tie. I mean, everybody uses hair ties, especially if they have long hair. And this one is so great. It's by MEJ and it just looks kind of like a stackable bracelet which is super awesome because if I'm on the go, sometimes I hate just having those like little black, yucky, boring elastics around my wrist all the time. So these are a nice way to have a fashion statement. They come in all different patterns and colors. I could just stack a bunch of these and nobody would be like, oh gross, that's a hair tie. I think that's a must have if you're wanting to look cute, but also have a way of tying your hair back. When I hold this up, people usually have no idea what it is, but if you guys are savvy in the YouTube hair community, you probably know these are goody spin pins. I personally am obsessed with these. They say that they can hold like 20 bobby pins worth, and I think that's pretty true. Like all you have to do, literally, you just twist your hair into a bun, you take one of these, you spin from one end, take one of these, you spin from the other end, and you got yourself a bun. It's like so fast and so stable, it just kind of blows my mind. I love them. If you guys haven't tried it, go out to like your local drugstore and buy it right now. It will change your life if you're a bunning person. Bunning? Is that a word? <laughs> my last hair product isn't really f a hair, no, it's, it, you use it in your hair. It's a hair product. So this, everybody asks me when I use these in tutorials, what is that in your hair? This is a little like bang holder. So it's just Velcro on one side and it looks like a bow on the other side. I just press this into my hair and the Velcro keeps my hair away from my face when I'm putting on my makeup. Let me tell you, the first time I discovered these completely changed my makeup routine. Before I would like be fussing with hair ties or like headbands, trying to get my hair out of my face. And these are just adorable and they just do such a great job. Like it's such a great idea, Velcro for your face. So the only bad thing is that I'm not saying I've done it, but I might maybe have walked outside of the house forgetting to take it out of my hair, which like, it's cute, but you know. But if you're interested in it, I got it from prettyandcute.com. I'll leave a link for all of the products actually here down in the description box below as per usual. And 
I guess that is the end of my list. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and let me know down in the comments if you have a must have hair product that I desperately need to know about because I think it's a pretty good idea for us to all share the love. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. I am talking all about concealers. As you can see, I'm not wearing anything on my skin today. This is a French braid, but it also has these little pieces that hang down that kind of attach it to the head.